All right, so this was a highly requested one, the top 10 project management certifications. And boy, this is probably gonna make some people mad. But with that being said, you guys requested that I made this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and deliver. Project management is obviously an incredibly rare and valuable skill set, but which certifications are actually the most valuable? Well, there's really two things that you need to consider when it comes to value. And the first and by far the most important thing is how recognizable is it to hiring managers and business owners? basically decision makers. And then the second thing is how good is it? How much does it actually teach you? And then there are other various little factors like how much does it cost or how long does it take before you have to renew it? But with that being said, I'm gonna start off at number 10 and I'm gonna go all the way down to number one, which is the best one. And I want you guys to know that this is just my opinion, right? It's my opinion based off of my own experience, the experience of students that I've helped and clients that I've helped and the experience of other experts that I've reached out to. But if you agree or don't agree on some of these, let all of us know down in the comment section. That way you can all kind of debate with each other and we can all learn from it. Because some of these are gonna be good if you're in a certain country or if you're in a certain type of industry, right? So there's all these different nuances and you guys can talk about those down in the comment section below. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this one. All right, so number 10 on the list is going to be the CPMP or the Certified Project Management Practitioner. So this one is offered by EC Council and it focuses on practical skills and knowledge. And EC Council is better known for its cybersecurity certifications, which makes this kind of a unique offering for them. Now there's no specific prerequisites and it's valid for three years before you have to get it renewed. So the rationale for this one being number 10 and not, you know, number 15 or, you know, number one is it does provide a solid foundation, but it's also less recognized than top tier certifications. I think EC Council kind of tried to go into a lane that they weren't really familiar with and they did a relatively good job, but the problem is, is just simple recognition. Hiring managers, business owners, don't recognize this one. And so that's a big problem. And so that's why they're number 10. Number nine is going to be the NPM, which is the master project manager. And this one is offered by the American Academy of Project Management or AAPM. Now this one actually does require three years of project management experience or training, and it covers various different project management methodologies. And an interesting fact about this one is it is actually NATO approved and it is valid for two years. So every two years you have to renew it. Now, overall, this one is less widely recognized than top tier certifications, but it's still valid. Valuable. Next number eight is going to be the CAP M or the Certified Associate in Project Management. And this one is an excellent entry level certification for those starting in project management. Now it's offered by PMI, which is the same organization as PMP. And it does require 23 hours of project management education. And it is a good stepping stone to PMP. Now this one is valid for three years. And this one is ideal for people who already have a job working for a project team. And they're basically looking to validate their project knowledge. However, if you don't already have a job, the best best cert that you can possibly take, which is not a certification, but it is a certificate, is going to be the Google Project Manager Professional Certificate. So if you're an absolute newbie, you've never done project management before, that's going to be the best one that's going to get you into the game. And it's also by far the most affordable one on this list because it only costs about $40 to $50 per month. So if you're a complete newbie watching this, I highly recommend you checking it out because I've gotten so much good feedback on that one, person after person after person saying that it was amazing and it helped them get a job and et cetera, et cetera. So definitely check that out by clicking clicking down in the description and the pinned comment below. Now the next one, number seven, is going to be the CompTIA Project Plus. Now CompTIA is better known for their IT and cybersecurity certifications, but they did step into the project management realm and they did a relatively good job. And I will say that this one is especially good. In fact, it's probably even more highly ranked if you're doing project management in IT specifically. Because if you're applying for an IT company or a technology company, the hiring managers and business owners are going to recognize CompTIA. So this one ranks relatively high already, but if you're applying to one of those companies, it would rank even higher on the list. Now, this is a vendor neutral certification, has no prerequisites, and it does cover the basics of project management concepts. It also never expires, which is really nice. This is not one of those ones that you have to do again and again every two or three years. And a very interesting fact about this one is it is a certification that is recognized by the US Department of Defense, which is pretty awesome. So if you're applying for a government job, this one might also be really good. Number six on the list is going to be the Certified Scrum Master or CSM certification. And this one is essential for agile project environments, which are increasingly common. So this one focuses on agile and scrum methodologies, which by the way, if you're not familiar with that, that's basically a way of keeping large teams organized and basically just being efficient with projects and meeting your goals on time and under budget. And it requires attendance to a two day course and passing an exam. And there's no experience prerequisites. Now this one is valid for two years. So you do have to renew it every two years. And this is one of the most popular agile certifications in the world. So this one 
is extremely solid. Next on the list, number five is going to be the Prince 2 Practitioner Certificate. Now this one is especially good if you're in the UK and Europe. So it's a highly respected certificate and it's especially good if you're watching this from the UK and Europe. And this is basically a process-based approach to project management. Now it does require passing the Prince 2 Foundation exam first. And this one has a practitioner level focus of applying the method to real life scenarios. And it's also valid for three years. So you do have to get it renewed every three years, which is very common with project management certs because there's always new technologies and new updates all the time. And an interesting fact with this one is this is actually used by the UN and many government bodies worldwide again, especially in Europe. So if you're applying for a government position worldwide, or if you're applying for a job in Europe, this one could be especially good for you. Next is the Professional Scrum Master or the PSM. And the reason I put this one in number four is because it's a rigorous assessment of Scrum knowledge without mandatory course attendance. And it is offered by scrum.org. And by the way, this one was created by Ken Schwaber, who is the co-creator of Scrum. So he definitely has a lot of street cred in the project management world. Now there's no prerequisites or required courses, and you have lifetime validity validity with no renewal needed. Plus there's three levels of increasing difficulty. There's PSM one, two, and three. Next is gonna be the Google Project Management Certificate. And I already mentioned this one before, but this is the best for beginners. Okay, so this is new, but increasingly recognized and it's especially good for digital and tech projects. Now this one is offered through Coursera. Again, you can check it out with the link in the description in the pinned comment below. A lot of the time they give you a free seven day trial. There's also scholarships that you can apply for if you can't afford it. So this one value wise is probably the best one on the list by far. And if you're a beginner, it's the best one too. But it is technically not a certification, it is a certificate. Now this one covers both traditional and agile approaches, and they say it can be completed in six months, but realistically it's probably going to take you a month, maybe two months max. And Google partners with various companies to consider certificate graduates for entry-level positions. So they actually give you lots of perks that help you land a job. So yeah, really like this one, it is excellent. Next is going to be the PMI Agile Certified Practitioner. And this one is highly valued for its comprehensive coverage of agile practices, which are increasing increasingly important in modern project management. Now, some key points here is it requires 2,000 hours of general project experience, 1,500 hours of agile project teams, and 21 contact hours of agile training. I think you're probably starting to see why this one is so well respected. And it really covers multiple different agile methodologies, not just Scrum. So it's valid for three years. It requires 30 PDUs, which are professional development units, in various different agile topics to maintain it. Now the PMI ACP is actually PMI's fastest growing certification. And PMI is well respected. They're basically the gold standard in the project management world. And number one on the list is going to be the project management professional or the PMP. This is the gold standard certification. And of course, it is offered by PMI as well. It requires 35 hours of project management education and significant project management experience. And it covers predictive, agile, and hybrid approaches to project management. Now, this one is valid for three years, and it does require 60 PDUs to maintain. Now, an interesting fact about this one is PMP certified project managers often earn 20% more than their non-certified peers. So in many cases, if you get certified in this one, you are literally going to get a 20% pay raise. And that will likely translate to tens of thousands of extra dollars per year. So this one makes a whole lot of sense. All right, guys. So if you are a beginner and you're trying to figure out what career path you should go into, I did make a video on the Google certificate tier list. And that goes over a bunch of different really good certificates that are amazing for beginners. And they're also super affordable. So they're really valuable. And you can check that out by clicking right here.